Do you know, in the history of philosophy, there are really three theories of nature. Incidentally, what do you mean when you use the word nature? Well, for many people, nature means the birds, the bees, and the flowers. But we do have in our minds, you see, the idea that nature is somehow outside us. We've got some nature in us. We say there's a thing called human nature, and mostly bad. You might be a fatalist if you think that you are a sort of puppet which life pushes around. We've been hoodwinked into the feeling that we exist only inside our skins. And if we do that, comes disaster. But in the point of view I'm expressing, the real you is not a puppet which life pushes around. The real deep down you is the whole universe. You are something the whole universe is doing in the same way that a wave is something that the whole ocean is doing. Well now, there are, as I said, in the history of mankind, three theories of nature. The first theory is the Western theory, which is that nature is a machine. Our tradition has been to look upon the world as a construct, and somebody knows how it was put together. Now let me take a second theory of nature. This is an Indian theory. Basic to all Hindu thought is the idea that the world is maya, which means many things. It means magic, illusion, art, play. All the world's a stage. And in the Hindu idea, there is the ultimate reality of the universe, is the self. You are a function of this total galaxy, bounded by the Milky Way, and that furthermore, this galaxy is a function of all other galaxies. And that vast thing that you see far off, far off, far off with telescopes, and you look and look and look, one day you're going to wake up and say, why, that's me. And in knowing that, know, you see, that you never die.